She's a beauty. All right, and here we are in an absolutely beautiful South Florida afternoon here in October. And uh, we're taking a look at this 1976 Travco. Um, it was built by Dodge. It's got an M500 frame. Um, and it's got a 440 engine in it. Um, and as discussed in what I wrote up in eBay, um, I am not a mechanic, but I'm going to take you around and show you what I know. And uh, I can tell you that this does run. It does roll. Um, there was a, uh, we did, uh, had a friend come over and do a repair for me on the, we replaced the master cylinder and the left uh, uh, brake assembly and wheel. Um, so everything on that side is new and um, it's working pretty good. So I'm going to take you around the, the vehicle here. First I'm going to take you around the outside and um, I'll show you what things are all about here. So here's the front and um, the bumper is off. I do have the bumper. I do have the bolt to put it together. Um, it's just uh, easier to get it back here and, and take it off without the bumper on it. You can see that the windshield has a little bit of uh, milkiness to the edges. Uh, I'm not sure what that's all about, except that there, there is a uh, very, very small leak in the windshield at the top there. Uh, well, actually, I'm not sure exactly where the leak is from, but I get a teeny tiny amount of, uh, of water inside on the dashboard. I mean, like drops of it. Uh, when it rains, so it's really not too uh, too big of a leak, but it's a leak. That's the only leak in the whole vehicle. Um, this is made out of the outside of this vehicle is made out of fiberglass. Came from the factory that way. You can see the seam right there in the middle of the top, and that seam is where it was it was put together. It's it was made in two halves, and then they put it together right there and. That seam runs all the way up the center of the up down the center of the vehicle. Okay. Again, we're in tight quarters here, so I'm trying to get you the best shot I can get you. Um, I do have that wheel cover. Um, when we did the brakes, we forgot to put it on when we put it back together again, but I do have it. it comes with it. All the wheels are got those fancy covers on it, make it look really cool. This has got something to do with the, uh, the water system and the heat, the water heater, I think. I'm not really sure. Again, I'm not a mechanic. It does have the sewer stuff here, as far as I can see. The sewer tank works. I'll show you all that stuff when we get inside. Now, these lockers on the sides um, are all kind of uh, a little messed up. Uh, this one is the worst one. It actually fell off. Um, I do have, I wish I could see what I was doing here. I do have um, all of the um, parts of the door that were on it so you could fix it. Apparently, these uh, rust, and this one actually rusted all the way off. I'm pretty sure that they, all of them are going to have to be redone. But you can see that that one, I started working on it, but I don't know what I'm doing, so I didn't go very far. Okay, so it's a little tight quarters. I'm trying to get you the widest shots I can. Um, the spare tire still attached, as you can see. There's that ladder is uh, is very stable. I can get to the top of the vehicle with that, and it does equipped with a 40 gallon water tank for drinking and so forth. That's the fill tank for that. Um, the tag is actually behind a piece of plywood, and obviously, I don't want to show you my tag number, but the tag flips down, and that's where the gas tank is. Not really sure how big the tank is, but it is really big. I can. I assure you that it has a lot of uh, a lot of capacity to it.
and coming around the back side here. This little compartment here is uh, where the generator is. Um, I have not been able to get this generator to start, but again, I'm not a mechanic. It looks like it's in pretty good shape. And it runs off the fuel of the vehicle. Here's a known end. I had a friend looking at it. Uh, it does crank. If you hook a battery up to it, it does turn over. It seems to get spark, um, but uh, it must be something up with the carburetor, which is unbeknownst to me. Uh, but everything is still here. You could certainly go to work on it right away if you wanted to. So again, these lockers, I'll show you this one. Just uh, open it up here. But uh, they all kind of look like that. These are this one is still kind of intact. It's got a lot of rust in the bottom of it, but it still works. And uh, like I said, I've got uh, the doors. The door, the one that, that came off in the back. I actually have some uh, some um, hinges, some piano hinges that I'll be happy to provide you with if you buy the vehicle. And. Um, there's a step right there. It does work. I just don't like fooling with it. The inside of the door here is the skins off of it. That is like aluminum, so you could put a skin right back on it and seal it back up again. I just fixed that lock right there. This, this does work. It's very simple. Uh, the deadbolt also seals, it, seals you up inside pretty good if you want it to or locks it up. Seems to work. All right, and then this switch down here is the power switch for the whole vehicle and batteries are down here. I got just bought a brand new battery for it. And I'm going to turn the dead man switch there up. Turn it on because I'm going to try and start the vehicle for you. I'm sure it'll start. Um, there is one problem with the engine, and that is that the belt broke for the alternator. So that needs, that's going to need to be fixed. And I'm not sure that I'm going to take it to a mechanic and have that done, because it's going to cost money, and I'm kind of not spending any more money on this. Because it's not going to be my project. It's going to be yours. So I'm going to take the hatch off. All right, took the center hatch off here. And I'm going to reach over here and start it up for you. It does have a um, Dodge, I guess, a Mopar 440 big block engine, gasoline. It does run pretty good. As I said, it needs an alternator belt. I don't have the wherewithal to put it on, and um, batteries get a little low if I put the charger on it, but that's why I drag a little bit, but it, it runs beautiful, as you can see.
I hear too much of the noise. So, um, I don't know that, I think the oil pressure gauge might work. I don't know, I don't think the fuel gauge works. The speedometer works, but the odometer does not. It's showing 0492, I'm, it's stuck there. So I know it has over 100,000 miles on it, but I don't know how many miles it has on it. The alternator and, and vacuums and the bolts seems to work. The internal air conditioner does not work uh, on the, uh, the uh, off the dashboard or off the uh, truck. Um, but the um, actual trailer air conditioner does work. It's very old. The plastic is starting to, to break off, but um, I was able to plug this in and get it to run and it does get cool. I'm going to pause for a minute here. So this was evidently what they called the, the, the Royale version of the Travco. I'm not sure what that really means. It comes with these gauges. Barometer, thermometer, humidity. Um, this, um, kit. The table, these do fold up, fold down. This turns into a bed. We have some cabinets. Another big uh, place for a bed. Also a storage area under here. As you can see. I'm gonna move back here. This place, pardon the junk. It does have a control center here. Don't know, I do not know how much of that works. Got the sink. Got a stove. Got an oven, it's LP gas. I actually had tried the oven one time, it does work. More cabinets. Turn around here and show you the, the bathroom. I just got a little shower here. I'm a big guy and I can actually stand up inside of it and take a shower. Not that I've ever done that, but I, I, can, I can do it. head excuse excuse me but I told you about the tank and that's down below there uh, I think it has a 60 gallon tank for your um, disposal there sink mirrors towel holders cabinets all the stuff inside here looks like it's pretty much original I certainly haven't done anything to it um, I'm only the one of several owners. I don't even know how many owners there's been, but uh, all the stuff pretty much looks. This refrigerator has been replaced. It's a gas and electric. Switch back and forth from propane to electric. There's a closet here. Electrical box. Can't excuse the junk. There's a storage space under here. This is also a table. And then these back things here, they flip up. So you can expose. Come on now. The water heater and other exciting things. Uh, the mattress is not here. You have to find yourself a new mattress or put an airbed back here or something. So anyway, um, I came upon this by luck. Had high hopes to uh, restore it, but found out that it's really not my forte or my my dream. So hopefully it's your dream and you'll be lucky in bidding and I wish you luck. Oh, one, thing, one other thing. 
the top of this cabinet or the back of it's loose in some way and this uh, piece of wood that's bracing it up actually does hold it up. Uh, there's some kind of repair needed back there but I'm sure that you being as crafty as you are will be able to fix it. Again I wish you luck and uh, ask any questions on eBay and I will try and answer them for you. Thank you.